Deep down, every man wants a woman that is excited to cook for them. But to find that woman can be challenging. So I think that it's important to recognize that some women will absolutely love to cook. Other women will hate to cook. So I think that it's important when you are dating, if you are looking for someone that is going to step into that feminine homemaking role and stay at home, look after children, cook, clean, do all of those awesome things, uh, it's important to communicate that in the beginning, quite early on. Ken and I, when we met, we had both made it very clear to one another that we were not looking for a one night stand, we were not looking for a hookup. We were looking to find our life partner. And so that's something that you need to discern within yourself before you kind of start dating or start looking for your significant other is, do you want a one night stand or do you want someone, are you looking for someone to spend the rest of your life with? If you're looking to spend the rest of your life with someone and you're now looking for who that partner is, it's important to communicate that from the beginning, that that is your goal and you know the different things that you want uh, i know that some women absolutely love to work their day jobs love to work even you know not a day job they just love to work for me i find um i serve best when i'm at home i feel like i'm doing the best uh, and kind of doing what i was made for when i'm at home and when i'm nurturing others and giving to others in the ways of making sure that the house looks good making sure mm -hmm. that the food is cooked so it's definitely a communication thing. You have to communicate and say, you know, this is what I'm looking for in a partner. Is that who you are? If not, and there's still tick a bunch of other boxes, you guys can compromise in some ways and maybe take a couple of cooking classes together or do it as a joint thing. I like that also too, do it as a joint thing. So sometimes I help with cutting up some vegetables, doing some of that stuff. You know, I try my he's, best to he's be my supportive. Yeah. It's my sous chef, so like if I'm busy in the kitchen, I like a clean kitchen when I'm cooking and I like to keep it clean throughout my cook. Yeah, so, and so sometimes I'll take care of the dishes as we're going about just to support that and it also speeds up the process too. Exactly. So that way you don't have to go and take care of a million things afterwards. And so then Ken gets fed faster, which he likes. So it's, very, it's a smart decision. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and leave a comment below, as well as subscribe to the channel because I'll be making more videos that are relevant for you as a man to build the life that you want, as well as join my free community where a bunch of us men that are focused on building incredible lives are coming together to focus on the areas that we need to improve. We have weekly calls, we have a bunch of different amazing curriculum and action items that will be assigned to you to help you, again, build the life that you want. I'm Ken Conklin, I'll see you in the next video.